want to show you another one of my favorite dishes, which is lentils and basmati rice or jasmine rice. Today I'm going to use jasmine rice, but here's how you cook it. It's really great stuff. You're going to start with a base of celery, onion, and carrot. You're going to add a little bit of garlic and then saute it for a little bit until the vegetables soften a little bit. Add the lentils, some stock to cover by about an inch, and then you bring that to a simmer and simmer until the lentils are soft. Cook the rice separately and then stir the both together and I'll show you the different seasonings. So anyway, as you notice how I like to clean an onion is, this works really well by the way, unless of course you are cooking onion rings, in which case it doesn't work so well. But anyway, what I'm doing is I cut the ends off, cut it in half, and then it's real easy to peel off the outer layer. Save it for stock or in this case, since I have so much, it's going to my compost bin. And then, to cut the onion, what you want to do is stand it up on its broader flat side, cut down on the onion, and then cut across the onion, cut it into, eh, it can be sort of a coarse sort of a chop. And I'm only gonna use a half of this onion a little bit because I love the flavor and it's a healthy fat. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil in the bottom of the pot. Just enough to coat the bottom. Then I want to put the carrot in first. And the carrot that I've already peeled, I cut in half, put on the board flat side down, cut it in half again, and then, ugh, very hard carrots and then give it a nice quick chop. And you're looking for, again, about a quarter inch piece, sort of the same size as the onion. But the reason for the carrot going in first is because the carrot is a very hard vegetable, so that will take just a little bit longer to cook. Then I'm going to cut up some celery. Now, okay, the celery. So I've washed it. Celery can be a little sandy in the middle. And I want to use the leaves too. The leaves have so much flavor, it's ridiculous. You don't want to throw the leaves out. So I'm going to actually use two of the outer layers and then two layers with the leaves. So the easiest way to do the celery is to take the stalk and depending on the size, cut it in half or thirds so you can get a nice uniform piece out of it. And that one actually looks pretty good, whoops. And then bunch it up in your hands, whoops, and whoops, cut that down a little bit, and cut this the same way. Like I say, I love the leaves because they add so much flavor, it's beyond belief. So, nice little chop on that. It all goes to the pot. The onions, the celery is a little bit harder too, so I put the onions in on top. Then I want to add a little bit of chopped garlic. The chopped garlic I'm going to put on top of everything because if you put the garlic on the bottom, it will tend to burn and you don't want the garlic burning because it's going to get a little bit too bitter. So I'm going to take about, oh, what's that? Well, that was a nice size clove. One, two, three nice size cloves. And I think I'm gonna slice these thin. So what to do, just keep your little fingies out of the way. Give this a nice thin slice. Now you do want to keep an eye on your fingers. I use my middle finger as the guy tucked under so that I don't chop them off, though it has happened. And then just a little coarse chop after that. 
if I were to put this through a garlic press, it might add just a little bit too much flavor. This is going to work out a little bit better. So, garlic, done. One thing you do want to do also is whatever cutting board you use, especially if you are going to use your cutting board for desserts or anything else, make sure to clean it well because anything you cut after this will pick up the flavor of garlic and you can also rub it with lemon and that helps. So anyway, there's the basics and this is quite lovely, all chopped up. Then what I will do is saute this until the vegetables are soft. Then I'm going to add the lentils, which I have rinsed well. I'll leave them in the colander. As soon as these are softened, I'll add the lentils and then a little bit of broth. Well, let's finish up our lentils and rice. So I cook the lentils and I cooled them overnight and they absorbed all the liquid in the pot and by cooling them it's going to go together oh easier I don't know but they don't break apart as much as if you do them warm anyway I'm making kind of a lot of this because it's unbelievably good it's a nice vegetarian dish that you don't even miss the meat and you could add meat to it if you wanted to but it's packed with protein and all sorts of good uh, vitamins and minerals. So anyway, then I cook some jasmine rice separate. I like either the jasmine or the basmati. Proportions, it's pretty easy to cook. You use a cup and a half of water to a cup of rice. Put it in a pot, bring it to a boil, turn it down to a simmer for 20 minutes and then it's done. So what I have is now the lentils and the rice. I fluffed this up with a fork and cooled the rice a little bit. Now we'll add just a few more things to it. And what I'm going to add are some chopped dried apricots. These are Turkish apricots. But, you know, or if you don't want to add an apricot, a raisin or a currant is really, really good. Or you could add dried cherries to it, too. But I thought, oh, well, Middle Eastern, let's do a little apricot for a little variety. And so I'm cutting this kind of on the small side, sort of to the size of the lentil and or grain of rice. Then we'll add it. Now I did a cup and a half of rice and that's what that yielded and I did a couple cups of lentils and you know there really is no proportion you're going to go by flavor. Then what I'm going to do is add some tomato and some a little bit more curry though I did cook the lentils with a little curry, nutmeg, cinnamon and clove and ginger but I'm going to add just a touch more curry and a little bit more ground ginger or you could use fresh ginger if you want. Uh, fresh ginger you would want to chop real fine or run it on a plain grater. That works too. We're going to season this because I did not season the rice with a little bit of kosher salt and some fresh cracked pepper and then some curry powder. Now I'm not using the spicy curry powder. This is just a mild, nice curry powder. You could make your own curry powder if you get so inclined. For curry powder that you make is a lot different and it's really good and not hard. It just takes a little bit to put together. And then we're going to add just a little bit of ground ginger because that was easy in stock. And then I'm going to sprinkle this with just a touch, not a lot, of some sherry vinegar. If you can't find sherry vinegar, maybe just a touch of white wine vinegar. We'll add a can of diced tomatoes. Seasoned tomatoes are always nice. And then let's mix it up.
Ooh, it smells wonderful. Oh my God, if you could smell the curry and the ginger. Oh, it's heavenly. This, by the way, without the vinegar and without the apricots makes a wonderful soup. Just add a bit more chicken broth or vegetable broth and it turns into a soup really easy and it's excellent. But the one thing about the soup is the lentils and the rice will keep absorbing water. So you almost have to bring the broth to a boil, add the rice and lentils, and then stop the cooking. That looks pretty good. Now, let's taste this and see how it is, see what we need to add. Mmm, really nothing. I'm going to drizzle it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Wow, that's really good. That's really good. And before I serve this, we're going to uh, serve it with just a little bit of chopped onion on the top. And what else is really good with this is a side of tzatziki. The cucumber yogurt sauce. Oh my god, that's just heavenly. So to serve this, I'll put this on a plate. Don't be afraid of making too much of this too because it will disappear. And it keeps for a good week in the refrigerator anyway. There you have it. Rice and lentils. Yum. So I hope you try it. Make it. It's really easy. And if you like it, let me know. And I hope to see you on the next episode. Thanks for joining me.